Good afternoon. This is Tempo Effect TV's Beyond the Headlines program, and I'm your host, Petro Saili. Our guest for today is Mr. Sam Ndeli. He's a co founder of Cultural Group Benefits uh, Company. The other co-founder is uh, Mr. Bob Chipiki, and today we'll talk about this unique concept on uh, insurance uh, indigenous model, and uh, their mission, if I can read the mission out loud, is to help strengthen cultural association by providing quality life insurance plans and benefits to serve cultural communities. So if I can go directly to the question. Uh, who are these cultural associations and who are the communities that your agency plan to serve? Thank you very much, Mr. Haley, to invite, uh, to have given me the opportunity and my company, Cultural Group Benefit Company, uh, this evening to um, explain to our African community um, a unique product uh, which uh, we developed 17 years ago. Um, the group life insurance uh, pro program provides services to cultural associations and uh, there is no employer-employee, it's guaranteed. And uh, we've had tremendous success and we still have a lot of work to do because uh, there are so many cultural com uh, groups that haven't taken advantage of this program. Um, uh, presently, we have about close to 200 groups, about 8,000 clients. Uh, we have uh, insured groups in almost the 50 states. But presently, um, uh, we are only doing this business in 38 states that have approved this product. And we are hoping that in the future, we're going to expand to the other states that haven't approved yet. Okay, okay. Is it Minnesota one of them? Yeah, Minnesota is one of them. Oh, thank God. Minnesota okay. is one of them. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's been funny that uh, uh, about 18 months ago, um, uh, Hartford, that is the underwriter of this program, okay. Okay. Um, decided to put a freeze to the program and kept the insured groups nationwide. They were still paying claims, okay. but they could not accept new groups or uh, new members. So um, um, as of November of last year, um, they decided to re, uh, re, um, re, renew the program or start the program all over. Uh, reinstate the program, uh, uh, excuse me, to, to, to reinstate the program. And uh, um, we've been working uh, diligently. Uh, they had to file in all the 50 states to get acceptance. And presently we have 38 states, as I said, including Minnesota. Okay. We are working on, on one of uh, in the few other states that haven't approved yet. Okay. But we are hoping that, that uh, we'll get all most of the states are 50 of them. Yeah, if, if it's possible. Uh, it's, it's a program which is, um, I'm very passionate about it. I am originally from Cameroon. Okay. And I came here 1978. 
and I, I, I two thousand. I, uh, one of the members of the cultural community called me and uh, and said, Sam, you are an insurance agent. Can you look for group life insurance for us? And I said, there's no such program as a group life insurance for cultural association. Mm -hmm. But he insisted. And fortunately for me, I had a very good partner. His name is Robert Chopek from Minnesota. Um, we kept looking at this for a year, and uh, finally we found um, uh, um, help from one of his friends who had uh, an agency in St. Paul called uh, Leclerc Corporation. Okay, okay. They are our partners, actually. Um, uh, most of the insured groups will see the Leclerc Corporation. They are partners. They are the administrators of this program. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so this is about 17 years ago, right? Yeah, about 17 years ago, yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the activities that you're engaged is <coughs> uh, term life insurance. Yes. Okay. As you stated on the website, I, I found it on the website, the core of your agency's values and benefits begins with a group term life insurance. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, this, this um, program is designed with the concept of... Uh, um, a group term life insurance, almost identical like what you have at work. Just for the fact that there's a difference. Um, uh, the uh, work is understood that there's a, an employer-employee. Yes. But this is totally an association. There's no employer-employee. Most of uh, the, um, uh, 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 the administrators or the um, uh, coordinators are volunteers. Okay. You know, uh, it's a guaranteed coverage, you know. So if you enroll the first year, uh, the initial enrollment is guaranteed. There's no pre-existing medical uh, mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Unless you drop out of the program and you want to reinstate, mm -hmm. then you have to, you know, fill out, uh, answer a few questions, maybe four or four questions, and, and uh, that uh, will um, guarantee your eligibility. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, my third question has something to do with Okay. Yeah. <coughs> which is applicants or members with a pre-existing disease mm. are accepted in the cultural group benefits, such as heart disease, cancer, and other health-related problems. Is there a risk factor to such open acceptance, or how do you determine and set the premium? Well, uh, the premium is not determined on your health. Okay. Uh, the premium is determined on uh, the demographic of a particular group. Um, how many females, how many males, the age is not the health. It's not the health. Because the coverage initially is guaranteed. You know, so that's what determines the premium. So whether you have a terminal illness doesn't matter. As long as you are an active member of a non-profit association. Okay. That has been incorporated for two years. Okay. So you, you are also a non-profit organization? The, no, the uh, cultural association has to be a non-profit. It has to be a non-profit, yes. okay. And uh, incorporated for at least two years. Okay. Mm. okay. This I'm not sure, but you need to explain it to me. Mm. A major achievement for Mekuda, USA? Oh, I am. Um, Mekuda, USA is uh, it's a Cameroon group. Uh, it's, a, um, it's a group, Mancon, as a, uh, as a matter of fact. It's a, a group from uh, um, 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 uh, D.C. area, okay. and they have benefited from this program. Um, we have quite a few other groups. Um, uh, we have another group in, uh, in, in D.C. that we've paid 13 claims, and, and, and that's the uniqueness of this program. Um, because though we've paid those 13 claims, uh, it hasn't affected their premium because we, they, they have paid 13 claims. Mm -hmm. You know, all what affects the program is the makeup of their group. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Okay. And, yeah. and it has relieved a tremendous burden on the group. Okay. Could you imagine if they didn't have this program? And they have to, every time somebody dies, they have to so that's it. They have to beg from strangers. Please, we need bodies sent back home. Let me tell you a story. Africans 
What I've noticed, I've been here too long, mm -hmm. and I've seen things happen. Africans are the few immigrants, especially those from West Africa, that prefers to be buried back in Africa. And what I've seen happen, the only immigrants that are close to that are the Hmong. You know, they do something similar. But Africans, when, when there's a death, is, I don't know, it, it sometimes is more than like, it's more than a wedding. Yep. You know, because we want to make sure that our brother, our sister, our mom, our child must be given a befitted, well buried goodbye. And whether you have insurance or not, that takes place. So this program comes to relieve the community that you have other things, you care about families back home, you care about each other here. Here is a program that if any one of us, anybody within that community dies, there's financial um, relief. Either the person needs, prefers to be buried here or the body needs to go back home, that can be accomplished. In, in, in fact, that's across the board. Yeah. Everywhere in Africa, <coughs> especially here, I lived for quite some time, there is a death in a family, uh, the entire community, you know, I'm from Eritrea. Yeah. So we, we come and, you know, people pitch in. Uh, this is how it has been going on for so long. But <coughs> now you're coming up with this legal system where people are assured or guaranteed uh, to get that proper burial service, if you want to call it. But uh, a, a bit in a, a different angle, like like our community, uh, there's, you don't talk about it. This is pretty much a taboo. You see what I'm going? Yeah, I see where you're going. I, I... So when, when, when the, an organization come to you and said, okay, do you want to buy life insurance mm. say why are you wishing me this yeah. <laughs> you know and that how, how do you deal with that kind of i we we have a group um uh, i think it's a Zimbabwe group okay. uh, they don't like to use the word they call it burial, burial okay. um i i think i did a presentation to a somalian group that have the same beliefs i what i told them was please we are now in a foreign, we are all our immigrants. There's a saying, if you go to Rome, do, do what the Romans do. Um, back home, a lot of us have landed properties. You have land, and if you die, the ceremony takes place at your home, actually. Yeah, you know, the burial takes place right there at mm -hmm. your um, family, um, uh, property, or land. But it's not the case here. You still have to pay for for the uh, uh, funeral home, the hospital bills, and all all that, and 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 it is different. Mm -hmm. Here, very few of us have blood relatives. It is very important for us to know that the extended families that we have here are relatives, and when something happens. You don't necessarily have those blood relatives coming to plan. You have Ethiopians, yeah. <laughs> you have Cameroonians, mm -hmm. you have Nigerians. You know, it is not Sam who died. They will say a Cameroonian died. And then it becomes the responsibility for the entire Cameroon community to bury me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, yes, you don't want to talk about life insurance, but do you want to place your community in a financial burden when you, you die? I don't think you want to do that. So, you know, it's, it's all education, and I think with time, yeah. our people will come around. Yeah, Look, yeah. The, the traditional way of doing it is they just go to a, a community center, yeah. pitch in. C can they do both? Can they do uh, engage in the insurance company? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Continue. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we, we still do that. We still do that. Okay. Yeah, most of our group that have uh, this plan, 
still do like I belong to to my uh, um, my group called the uh, FACO, okay. uh, FECA Minnesota, and we have in our constitution if a member dies, the group still we they have this insurance plan. Mm -hmm. The group still have to contribute five thousand dollars additional. Additional. Okay. Yeah, because it makes sense. Yeah, you know. Uh, apa yes, it's twenty-five thousand. That's the maximum. I, maybe I need to explain to the audience. Okay. We have a ten thousand dollars coverage, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five, which is the maximum. And uh, we have a child rider of five thousand and seven thousand five hundred. The child rider is already fixed. The, the rate is fixed because it's for five thousand. It's forty cents per household, regardless whether you have ten or fifteen or one child. And the 7,500 is 60 cents per household. The coverage for adults, that's when you, uh, you look at the demographic and then you try to compute it to, to get the rate. Um, you, you know, that's not enough. Yes. Uh, Let's be for real. Okay. You know, especially those of us who have children who, who, are, who are born here. You know, they, they have adopted uh, the American system, you know, and uh, we want to make sure that if we pass away or we leave this earth or God decides to call us, uh, there's little token for them. I, I will put it that way. Okay. Financial token for them to at least relieve them for a few months, you know. Yeah, it, it, it depends. You know, yeah. some of the problems that we see within our community is mm. if the person is very popular yeah. and well connected to, to the community, they tend to get a chunk of the money uh, uh, to them, while there's a relatively uh, unpopular or poor person, yeah. uh, the contribution is less. So in a way, there's a, the burden relief is like we have that insurance company on one hand, but as a reinforcement or mm -hmm. that the moral ob obligation uh -huh. that you conduct yeah. towards your community is still yeah. there. So it, it's complementary in a way, right? Right, yes. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. You also, uh, well, you had, well, you, you explained to me, uh, international medical plan. Uh, uh, international medical plan, we had that. Mm -hmm. um, we've dropped it. Uh, the underwriters dropped that. Okay. Uh, we're still looking at that to see whether we can get something else. It was um, um, uh, a supplemental and, um, you know, but uh, we dropped that. Okay. It wasn't profitable. And, um, you know, we're hoping to uh, sometime in the future look into it again. Okay, yeah. You also have uh, the legal shield and dental insurance. That's, that's something that uh, we tried, we're trying to add to this plan. Uh, we're trying to add some more products that will be um, marketable to the community okay. and beneficial to the community. And we, we you know, Cotra Group uh, Benefit Company in conjunction with uh, um, our partners, uh, the Leclerc Corporation, mm -hmm. uh, we are trying to expand on this product uh, to make sure that we serve the community much better. Okay. Well, if people need to know more about this insurance company, mm -hmm. what do they do besides the telephone number and the website, we have it. Oh, they, they can call me. They can call. They can call uh, well, our website is there. The phone number is there. They can also call me directly. 763-593-5107. Okay. Um, uh, That's our um, company number. Okay. And uh, culturalgroupbenefits.com is the website. Is the website. And... Uh, Work number is 651-287-3248. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything that you wanted to say to the... I, I, first of all, I just want to thank you all for the opportunity. Um, and I just want to explain to my fellow immigrants, especially the African community, that we've suffered a lot. And we, and I know it's still happening. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many, uh, actually, three, two months ago, the Cameroon community, um, maybe less than two months, experienced two deaths just back to back. But because the, we've, we are way advanced in this program, most of the cultural groups are already insured through this program mm -hmm. with the community, the body wasn't that much. You know, it was so relieving that there wasn't stress to the community to contribute money. 
and I'm appealing to all the cultural communities. It is such a different type of program. I, for all the years that I've been doing insurance, I've not seen any program like this, which is only designed to the cultural community, and there's no employer-employee. You know, there's no, <laughs> there's, it, it, it is guaranteed coverage, yeah. you know, regardless whether you're healthy or not. As long as you're an active member of a cultural um, association, you, you know, if you apply through your group, you're covered. Okay, yep, this is strictly designed to the cultural community. It's designed to yeah. cultural community. Yeah. And, and, and to us Africans, I, yeah. I, I am so proud of uh, uh, our partners, uh, the Leclerc Corporation, and, and our underwriters for okay. believing in this product. The, the Hartford, oh, Hartford okay. yeah, the Hartford, okay. in believing in this program, oh, they have been tremendous partner, partners with us. And uh, to provide this type of service to our cultural community, uh, it's been fantastic to see the, the growth. And uh, I'm hoping that with, with this, we'll encourage all cultural groups that there's an insurance service like this, that they are you know, most of their community, or all the communities can take advantage of. Yeah, I'm sure, uh, you know, just like we talked about earlier, yeah. uh, certain things were taboo. Yes. But the reality... The uh, reality is... Us we, to, to change our you, you know, it's... Uh, mm. I, I, I will say this. Uh, sometimes you... Like, they are part of my uh, community probably... Um, well, if, let me give you an example. Sure. Uh, the first time I, I, I came here and I was, my point, of, my point of entry was New York. Okay. And I, I was so hungry. Okay. And this guy walked up to me and said, can we go and buy, there's a hot dog stand over there. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at him I said, my culture would not eat hot dog. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, hot dog? You know, yeah. uh, you see, you see, that's a cultural difference, you know. And uh, he said, no, 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 no. It's not made with pork. <laughs> it's made with pork, but it's, yeah. that's the name, okay. you know. So, you know, there are certain oh, things that when we migrate here, yeah. we have to accept, you know. And insurance is one of them. You know, I tell people insurance has to be one of your major bills because you care about your family and you want to make sure when you're not there, they're well taken care of. Yeah, I, I think it will take uh, some education and information uh, you know, for quite some time right. before, we, you know, especially Africans yes. you know, accept it. Yeah, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. So. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we'll come back. You'll come back again. Oh, and my pleasure. Yeah, then we'll talk more about it. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, Again, uh, thank you for uh, taking your time. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving <laughs> us this opportunity. Thank you. And I, will, I would definitely come back Perfect. if you invite us to. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, on that note, we end today's program. We'll see you next week with a different guest. Until then, have a nice one. Thank you. Ya sama cosa. 